it's Miss Donna with Raleigh Parks Recreation and Cultural Resources. This video is part of our At Home with Nature series, Animals and Their Habitats. So what is a habitat? Well, an animal's habitat is an area where an animal can find everything it needs to live. And all animals need things to survive. There are four common things that all animals need in their habitats. All animals need food. <laughs> food is important to animals. It gives animals energy. It lets them grow and lets them thrive. <laughs> animals also need water. Water is important because animals need water for their bodies to work well. Also, animals need shelter. And sometimes shelter can be in a bush. Sometimes it can be in the ground. Sometimes it can be under the bark of a tree. Sometimes it can be under a rock. Animals need shelter because animals need to rest and they need to feel safe from other hungry animals that might share their habitat. <laughs> They're called predators. <laughs> also, animals need shelter if they need to raise their young. And lastly, animals need space. <laughs> space is important. Having enough space is needed for an animal to live well. So a habitat, it's like a home. It's a place where an animal can find food, water, shelter, and space. <laughs> and fields and forests and oceans and deserts and ponds and streams, they're all kinds of habitats. There are many kinds of habitats because there are many kinds of animals. And do you know your backyard is a habitat? You probably have some animals living right in your own backyard. <laughs> Let's see what some of those animals could be. If we look down low, if we look in the soil, we could find these creatures. Let's see if you know who they are. Got a whole pile of them here. Are they squirmy, wiggly, wet worms? <laughs> worms are great creatures that live in our dirt. <laughs> they like to actually eat dirt. They eat their body weight in dirt every single day. They have very muscular mouths for eating. No hands, no teeth, but boy, can they eat dirt with those mouths. <laughs> they actually make our dirt better as they eat dirt. These are creatures that live with us in our backyards. They're under the ground working hard, making our soil better. <laughs> we also have other creatures in our backyard, oftentimes in our soil see if you know who these guys are. Are they insects? Yes, I see little brown beetle babies. They're called beetle grubs or beetle larvae. And I see grown-up beetles, the dark ones. Yes. So we have lots of insects in our backyard. Sometimes we have flying insects like bees and butterflies. They're great pollinators for our gardens. Sometimes we have ants and beetles that live down low near the soil or even within the soil. We know insects have six legs and three body parts. <laughs> there are other creatures that we see in our backyards that have more than six legs. Sometimes we see spiders. Sometimes we see creatures that have even more legs than spiders. We know spiders have eight legs. They're not insects. They're a different kind of creature than an insect, and so are these. These creatures have more than six or even eight legs. These are millipedes, and millipedes are a different kind of arthropod. So insects and spiders and millipedes and centipedes, they're all kinds of arthropods. An arthropod is a creature that has bendy legs, and it's a creature that has an outside cover. It's called an exoskeleton, keeping their soft inside bodies protected. But there are lots of kinds of arthropods. Some are insects, some are spiders, and some are millipedes. And millipedes are great backyard leaf eaters. They eat the dead leaves and they turn them into soil. We like having millipedes in our backyards. <laughs> we might also have snails in our backyards. I've got a couple of snails here. These are garden snails in our dirt, in our, our gardens or beneath our feet when we're playing outdoors. Snails actually carry their shelter with them as they live. They, when they hatch from an egg, they have a shell and it's that very shell that they'll carry their whole lives. And it's great shelter because 
a snail's body is soft and moist and it wants to protect it so it needs to pull inside of its shell on a hot day or if there'd be a hungry animal nearby. <laughs> so lots of creatures living in our soil or just on top of it. We've got creatures that are crawling in our backyards that are eating those worms and bugs and things. Who's this? Not a turtle. <laughs> this is an eastern box turtle. This is a land turtle that we'd find in our backyard sometimes. We have a wooded backyard especially. <laughs> he is a great creature. He's actually our North Carolina state reptile. He's got two shells. He's got a shell on his back called a carapace. And he's got a shell on his belly called his plastron. <laughs> and he uses those shells for protection. That's his shelter. And we know all animals need water and our eastern box turtles love to drink water from puddles after it rains and sometimes we might see them jump in the puddle and play they like puddles and maybe you too you like puddles too maybe you like to splash in puddles just like our eastern box turtles like to do <laughs> we also can see creatures in trees in our backyards we have lots of animals that live in our trees. We've got this one kind of animal. It's a mammal like us, but is that, it's a squirrel. A squirrel is a different kind of mammal. It's called a rodent mammal. He's got front teeth that grow his whole life. And that's good because squirrels like to eat tree nuts. And it's a good thing, they're very hard. So having teeth that are ever growing can be very helpful for squirrels. <laughs> We also have animals that live up maybe higher in the trees and the branches, birds. And birds are beautiful backyard friends. Birds are creatures that don't have fur, they have feathers. They are creatures that are warm blooded though, like us. They're creatures that are very light. They have either partially hollow or hollow bones and that lets many birds fly. We also know birds are great architects. They can make some beautiful nests and we may see some nests in the trees of our backyard. This is the nest that a robin made and I see a robin egg in this nest. You know, we've got some backyard creatures that might want to eat some bird eggs. So let's see if you can guess who this creature is. It's a creature that's a reptile. It's a creature that has no hands and no legs, but boy, can it climb up a tree looking for a bird egg. <laughs> it has a very strong muscular body. <laughs> it is a beautiful creature that we sometimes see in our backyard. Is it a snake? <laughs> and this is actually a corn snake. So his rightful habitat would be a corn field. He likes to eat the mice that eat the corn in the corn field. So farmers love corn snakes. They're a very beneficial snake. But sometimes we see them in our yards. Might be looking for a bird egg to eat. <laughs> it is great to know we share our world with so many animals. We want to care for our habitats, don't we? So that we can protect our, our beautiful places. So we'll have wonderful creatures that can live with us around this great planet of ours. <laughs> It's fun to explore habitats, but we need to do so cautiously, even in our own backyards. The snake that I used for this video, it's a program animal, and that means it's handled regularly. Wild creatures, especially snakes, should not be handled. Instead, as we explore our habitats and we discover wild creatures, we'll observe their beauty from a distance. <laughs>